everybody so today I'm going to make a card and I'm going to use my favorite uh, paper pad company of all time it's my mind's eye and I sort of want to show you that the thing with my mind's eye is you could pretty much make cards just by using their paper you don't even really need stamps <laughs> just a paper pad I've done this several times because they have um, phrases in there that you can use for you know your sentiments it, you can cut out little embellishments like the little bird and things like that um, they sort of amaze me it's it's not like it's just a regular paper pad it's, I've just taken this on vacation with me and made like four or five thank you cards for places we've stayed and stuff like that so I just wanted to show you um, how I do that. So I start off with my normal card base, which is five by three and a half. And this one, this is an older one, but I still think you can get it. It's the Lost and Found um, 2. It's called Rosie. And it's very fall-like to me. So I think I'm going to use that. And I really liked the um, rulers so I think I'm going to use this but I don't know how far this goes over because really I could just use this and make a hold card and I actually might do that because it's really pretty and it's a good base for whatever I'm going to use it for I haven't been able to do this with any other paper company. You know, some some papers will be, you know, have embellishments on them, but it won't be like my mind's eye is. Usually I can just layer four or five papers and add some sequins and some twine and call it done. Which, you know, super economical considering how expensive uh, crafting can be. And I consistently go back to their paper pads all the time. I mean just that right there just put a sentiment and a few sequins and you're done, pretty much. Um, but I want to put a little bit more to, on the card. So I'm going to round the corners. And maybe a little washy on the edge. This is the Scotch Expressions washi tape. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to do something on the inside of the card really fast. I don't like forgetting doing that because it's a nice little detail. Finagle my circle pinches. Oh. 
Sorry about that, my uh, camera ran out of space. So, where was I? Um, I had done the inside, I actually cut out that circle and glued it down. And then I started doing my uh, twine circle on the outside. And then I cut out this um, celebrate wording from one of the um, papers in the pad. And all that happened before I even knew that I had finished recording. <laughs> so let's get going. I think I want to um, edge this in some brown because um, everything's sort of lying really flat on the page. I want to pop this up a little bit. So just a little bit going on there. And then I'm going to pop that onto here. I like how that's looking. Just glue, a little bit of glue. Pop that on. And cut that off. And let's see, maybe I'll use some stickles on this one if I have any left. I haven't used stickles in a long time, so we'll do just a few choice dots here and there. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's where we're going to end it for today. I like how that went. Okay, so let me uh, cut off the tails a little bit because they're a little long. Straighten that out. And there. Yeah, I liked how that turned out. And then the inside is just that, so... That's good. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing week.